The Dating Show, brought to you by OlderDatingOnline.com. Uh, you've just had a little sniff there, Debbie, haven't you? Yes, of your wrist and your aftershave. <laughs> well, what do you What do you think? It's very lovely. Yeah, mm. irresistible, Rod. Irresistible. <laughs> oh wow! Well, in this edition, we're talking about aftershave because the smell of a man is uh, is important, isn't it? Well, actually, yes. I've been doing a bit of reading about oh, this. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> and but smell. before you give us all oh. this, give us your personal take on it. I mean, do you like a man who smells good? Yes, I do. I think aftershave makes somebody smell. If they've got their own signature uh, scent, the one that they use most of the time, it evokes memories of that person. And also, if you like that smell, uh, it, it adds to their attractiveness. Yes, I do. Yeah. OK, tell us your uh, research. Right, well, smell is extremely important because when it comes to attraction between two people, we, have, we each have a personal odour produced by the genes which make up our immune system. And those help us to subconsciously choose our partners. It's thought kissing uh, was developed from sniffing. And that first kiss be- being essentially a primal behaviour during which we smell and taste our partner to decide if they're a good match for us. So it's really important. I love your research. <laughs> anyway, we've had uh, Emily Jeffcott, who's uh, one of our reporters on The Dating Show, look into this. So um, let's hear from her. The Dating Show, brought to you by OlderDatingOnline.com. We sort of smelt each other outside, didn't we? We did. And uh, <laughs> your perfume is very floral. It's sort of grandma. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I'd say more feminine than grandma. <laughs> Charming. So you've been looking at uh, this for us. What have you been sort of finding out? Well, I've had a look at several of the uh, top ten aftershaves for men. And it looks as though every single time Paco Rabanne 1 million is number one. OK, so that, that's the one to go for, oh, is yes. it? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Don't hesitate. Any others? Um, yes. Calvin Klein Eternity. Davidoff Cool Water, which is more of a sporty one. Issey Miyake, apparently, is a very, very popular one. And then we've got, you know, the usuals like Hugo Boss, Boss Bottled. Remember, um, who is it? Ryan Reynolds, who does the advert for that. Makes it look very smooth. Does he? Yeah. Right, OK. <laughs> so um, are, are there sort of any traits in this? Is it sort of just go for a well-known brand or do you go for certain notes like wood, yeah. woody or citrus? Or Well, I think some people obviously would just go for one that they think is the most popular, the one that they've seen advertised. But if you are a bit more of a connoisseur, you might go for a more spicy or musky tone in your aftershave. Maybe something more fresh and citrusy as well. They're quite manly ones, aren't they? Am I right in thinking that sort of with aftershave and also perfume, they they change in smell, don't they? It takes 30 minutes for the base note to appear. So and the yeah. base note is what? Because the scents are made up of three levels of notes, the top notes are sort of like the initial ones that you first smell when you spray it in, say, the shop where you're trying it on. The middle or the heart provides the body and they're usually made up of the floral and spicy or woody ingredients. So it kind of comes out. A few, you know, half an hour later, you, that's the best time to maybe smell it when you're trying one on. For me, a man's aftershave should be manly. It shouldn't be sweet and slightly feminine. So, yeah, I think something like Ralph Lauren Blue, Blue Polo, I like that one. And Armani Code for Men. Well, that was uh, Emily Jeffcott. She likes her man to smell like a man. <laughs> when she said that, I, I, I nearly laughed. I well, have to say. but it is but true. There, there's something in there, isn't there? You don't yes. want to be too sort of floral if you're a man, no, really. No, not floral. It wouldn't go with the it's dress. It's got to be sort Rod. of mus- musky, <laughs> but not dusty. <laughs> <laughs> not musty either. Or musty, yeah. <laughs> My favourite um, aftershave is Paco Rabanne Pour Homme, which is actually uh, one of the first ones. It might be the first one. It's from 1973. Absolutely love that. I mean, they had some classics. Do you remember the 70s and the 80s sort of? Do you remember Blue Stratos? <laughs> Blue Stratos <laughs> and High Karate. Uh, yeah. Um, those adverts, I, I, I looked at them. They're very, very funny with the actress. Can you still see them? YouTube. Yeah, YouTube, yeah. Um, The actress Valerie Leon. Um, we, we were told that High Karate drives women wild and makes men irresistible. And apparently every pack uh, contained indispensable instructions on self-defence for men. <laughs> <laughs> and also that red one. Do you remember the red one? Old Spice. You can still Old buy that. Old Spice. That's, that's yeah. Still very popular. It had the man surfing and uh, it said, oh, the mark of a man, Old Spice. (laughs) I bought some aftershave uh, with a credit card last week. Now, there's lots of dodgy transactions on my account. It seems like my card's been cologned. 
The Dating Show, brought to you by OlderDatingOnline.com.